Wow. We got power. Would you look at that? What is up guys? It's your boy Brian back with another video. And today I'm going to show you how to install this Android stereo on your Chevy Silverado. I'm going to go step by step. Hopefully everything goes easy as planned. I haven't done this before, but I'm sure you can do this. So let's get to it. But before, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. You know, this is my first time installing this. I don't know how it's going to go. And I'm sure if you're looking at this video, you're going to want to do the same. Alright guys, so before we begin working on the stereo, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for hitting 100 subscribers. Make sure to subscribe down below. I appreciate y'all. And I'm, I'm going to keep showing you guys some more content. Try to get better. Try to upload every week. So make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. And let's get to this. But before I want to tell you guys. The whole reason why I'm changing the stereo is because. The screen on my truck. On my single cab. It's hella small. It's like. I would say work, work model. Work truck model. It came with power windows. But it didn't come with the. You know the big dash screen stereo and I don't like that shit I'm getting ready to do a system on it and you know just to change up the whole look of the truck I feel a little nice little deck will do the thing you know but this is the stereo I have as you guys can see no bueno huh I don't know if you guys have a stereo like this in your truck but if you do I know you know it's pretty fucking shitty it won't even connect to bluetooth sometimes always struggling with it as you guys can read, we're going to unplug the battery. We don't want to burn anything out. These are their instructions. We're going to follow them. Yeah. I would have, what I started with, if I, I laid everything out. Everything you're going to need, I laid it out over there. And I'm going to start by taking all this out. But first, you got to disconnect the battery. As you can tell, it's important. Let's do it. Alright, so we're going to start off by prying these, these clips off. Fuck, hopefully I don't break anything, you know? Damn. Oh, there goes one. Hmm. Much easier with two hands. Here it is. And this is the one I'm kind of scared to get because it's in there. Ciao! Let's see. Damn, we got it. You guys can see. Let's put the sucker to the side. Alright. Now that we got that off, we're going to take these screws. There's one right there. One down there, another one, total four screws you got to take out. All right. All right. So what I'm using is a 932 socket. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if the camera will focus. Yeah, 932 socket. It's four screws. Four screws you want to take off. And there they are. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these somewhere where we won't lose them because, knowing my luck, put them in the door jam. It'll be perfect. Alright, now, pull the sucker. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see as much footage as possible. Holy shit! Totally forgot. I had a system on this one. Look at that. Fuck. Oh shit. Well, we're gonna take these, these clips off. These pins. Take these off. I'm gonna show you guys what else we're gonna do. All they do is they got a little pin you push in, you pull it out just like that. Look at that. Another one over here. 
Take that, and then your AC unit. Just like that. Three. Well, my truck has three connections. I don't know what model you, truck you guys have, but mine has three connections. So, let me get rid of this sucker. Alright, guys. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to take this, this unit down here, which is your AC controls. We're going to pull it out, and we're going to replace it in that new unit. You got some clips down here. I don't know if you guys can see them. These clips. One, two, three, four, five. You got total five clips. So for that, we got a little... I forgot to tell you guys, they sent me these little pry bars. Little plastic pry bars. Come in handy. Let me tell you that. As a matter of fact, for seeing now we got another set of five we got seven we got two more on the edges there we go there one more and there it is we got that unit out ah ah let's get rid of that bad boy no bueno all right now what we're gonna do since we got this AC unit controls out before I lose them or anything happens to them, I'm gonna install them on the new. This new unit comes with everything you need. See right here? Now I gotta do is just put these bad boys in there, clip them in. Just like that other unit, you, you got all your clips. Should just slide right up in there and clip in. Oh, and it even has a guide. Alright. Look at that. You guys heard that? Victy right there. Uh oh. Got a problem. One of them don't want to clip. The one's at the edge. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Sweet. Sweet. Looks pretty original, pretty factory. Don't look too bad, huh? Our AC controls. All right, let's go to the next step. I'm thinking I'm gonna pull this this whole unit out. I don't think I'm gonna need it anymore. I'm gonna pull the, all these wires. Damn it, it's a mess. I think I'm gonna get rid of this box now because I have this. Or actually, I'm not since I have my all my door speakers connected to you. Look at that. That's shitty work right there. What the fuck? Damn it. Alright guys, I'm gonna start off by moving the unit down here. I think we're gonna do it in Put my screws inside. Let's pull the sucker out. There it is. Freedom. Give us more space. Right now, let's take this fucker up. Fuck. These clips are up in there. Damn, I'm pulling the whole unit up. Alright, let's start. Antenna's out, the USB one's out. Alright, we got it. We got this other one out too. It's white. Or gray. And this green one's the one that's a little tricky. There you go. So, you guys ain't going to have this in your truck. I have this because I added this so I can install an app for my, my door speakers on my truck. So, this unit right here converts for your RCAs. And you got all your wires over here for your, your speakers. 
So I'm thinking I'm gonna just leave that sucker in there. I don't want to start splicing wires on this other unit, you know. It's all plug and play. I'm trying to keep it as simple and easy as possible. This unit here stays. That ain't going anywhere. So, we got that out the way. All we're going to do is pull this old unit out. We're not going to need it anymore. Weight reduction, you know. Got this sucker out. Those are old. This is basically our stereo unit right here for that little ass screen. Which kind of sucks. You know what? To me it looks like we just got two plugs. This gray plug right here. And this green plug. So our unit here comes with both of those. These right here. These plug into... The green one goes to the green one. This one goes to the gray one. I don't think we're going to have... This is another option for another truck. Since mine's a basic model, it doesn't have all that fancy shit in it. It's just going to be these two. Let's get that sucker on there. Simple as that, you see? Now, I think we're pretty much done. No, got a lot more to go. Right. Plug that sucker in there. That's in. Alright guys, so the instructions are showing me that I need a speaker, but they didn't include any speaker on it. So I guess I'm going to skip that step. Well, I don't know. Fucking instructions are weird, dude. They're not so, you know, so helpful. So what I'm going to do now is continue to the rest of the stuff. Alright guys, so... You can see this is our GPS antenna. I'm gonna go ahead and set that in there. Take the wrap off of it. You can see we got a little, little sticky thing right here. Let me tell you. Stick that sucker in there. Make sure it's out of the way. Since we got all that open space, you know. Oh, what we're gonna do? Run it right here. Set it with a light. So we got a USB port. I'm gonna run that USB port. Put it in my dash. All right, guys. So I got it routed to my glove box. As you can see, went through this little little gap here. Now I'm gonna run it up. It's coming out right there. It. I know you see it. It's gonna be for a USB port. Alright, guys, so it's currently the next day. Yep, I know. It got kind of late at night and I had to wake up early in the morning to go to work. But we're back at it. We're back home. Here's a screen. So now let's continue where we left off. Alright, so we got our RTA cables. Let's go ahead and install that. It goes right here in this slot in the back. Very easy. That little click. Oh, it's in. We also got this. Make sure you don't forget to install this even if you don't install your rear view camera yet because you see these little things right here? Yeah. These are for the Wi Fi connectivity, as I've heard. So this is going to go in this one right here. See it? Match it up with those pins. It is in. Make sure the other one's in all the way. Alrighty. So we got that in, plug in that GPS antenna, which says GPS. After I do all this, I want to get all this wiring cleaned up, zip tied. I don't want them to be a mess. Our antenna's tied in, 
We got the antenna right here. So they send us an adapter for the antenna. This side goes to your factory OM antenna. To the back of my bag. It's in. All right, so now that we got our antenna in, we got that wire for our camera, our RCA connections. So now we got this adapter. This is for your factory USB that goes in your center console with the SD card. As you can see, it has that little conversion right there. This connects to this. This black one right here. You guys see? Just goes up in there. Well, not so. Doesn't, doesn't look good. Just fucking just slides right off. I have to zip tie that or tape it down. This little pin goes to the back of the stereo. Is in the middle one. Just like that. Looks like we're almost pretty much done here. Alright, so now we gotta do is connect the canvas connection into the unit. See how I connected the canvas in here? Now we're gonna connect it to the unit, which is right here in the back. See the, can you see which one it is? Let me connect it into this one right here. Make sure it clicks all the way in. Okay. So the one seems to be all the way in too. I'm just double checking, making sure everything's in. I don't want nothing to be loose. So now let's connect our main main harness. All right, guys, we got everything connected. Now we gotta clean up this mess. It's real messy in here. Wires everywhere. So I'll show you guys right now. Just how it looks once it's done. We got a couple zip ties. I'm gonna zip tie everything. These will do the trick. All right, guys. So what I go? I'm gonna go ahead and did. I tied in this. These RCAs, I tied it into the video in, the audio in. These come out of your harness, out of the harness. I don't know if you guys can tell right here. Out of this one right here. That's where they come out of. So you gotta tie those in. I'm almost done cleaning this up. It's, it's a whole bunch of wires everywhere. It's kind of messy, not gonna lie to you. Totally almost forgot this thing came with the mic. Now the question is, where should we put this? Now all we gotta do is tie it into this. The mic in. Just bat. Just put it in there. But we gotta route the wire. Alright guys, so we have everything pretty much connected. We just didn't do the rear camera, we're not gonna do that today. You guys can see. It's a lot of wires, not gonna lie. I'm trying to put them as neatly as I can. As you can tell it's not working. I'm gonna do a little bit more work right now, but you can see we got these plugs here. These are just gonna stay like that. There's no connections to them. They just stay just like that. Now, let's do a little bit more cleaning. And let's put the battery on. Let's connect the battery and then see how this radio performs. Alright, as you guys can tell, I got everything pretty much as neatly as I could. Put it in the back. Now we're putting these screws in, hold it in place so we can plug the battery in. I just put two screws in there just in case I have to take it apart. Alright guys, so the battery's connected. Let's turn the key. Oh, wow. 
We got power. Would you look at that? Oh, you guys can see my ring light in the back. It's loading up. Wow. The fuck is this? She's true to me. You guys are seeing this, right? That's weird as fuck. Alright, I don't want to hear that. Alright guys, so we got the unit in. I must say, I'm pretty impressed. This thing came out better than I expected. And it's functioning pretty good. Bluetooth connected, I connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm able to go on YouTube, I'm able to go, I'm pretty sure I'm able to go on Spotify and all these other apps I can download. Maybe I can even get TikTok on this fucker. It's pretty badass. Guys, so this is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Stay tuned for the content coming up next. Catch you guys later on the next video.